Welcome to Style with Trish. Today we have a very special guest, none other than Chanel Scott. Stay tuned. Every day a woman It's time to live your dreams. Nothing's gonna stop you now. Welcome to Style with Trish. Today we have the beautiful, elegant, wonderful, none other than Chanel Scott. Welcome to Style with Trish. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, I have uh, been following you and one of the things that I love about you is your sense of style. So we're going to tap into that okay. um, a little bit later in the show. Mm -hmm. um, but you are the, you are an author. Yes. You are the creator of chemistry. Chemistry. Chem chemistry. Yes. And I tried to say that correct. Chem okay. Ministry. Share with us the uh, beginnings of Chem, chem Ministry. Chem Ministry. Yes. Chem Ministry. Um, and how you came up with the name. Yes. Yeah, so Chem Ministry is essentially chemistry. Okay. And ministry. Ministry okay. meaning, meaning, meeting the needs of the people. So mm -hmm. essentially we uh, lace our conversations with practical principles on mm -hmm. how to navigate relationships. Mm -hmm. And I had experienced a tremendous church hurt um, mm -hmm. in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And um, typically when we get our heart heartbroken, mm -hmm. we typically take that to the church mm -hmm. and we talk about it and work through it. But in this right. case, it happened in the church. Wow. So I didn't have a, a space to really be transparent mm -hmm. and talk about what I was feeling. Mm -hmm. And so I relocated here to Atlanta and I wanted to create a platform mm -hmm. where I could speak freely and, you know, talk about my emotions and mm -hmm. my feelings and how, um, a particular situation made me feel and also mm -hmm. create a space free of judgment for others mm -hmm. who had similar experiences mm -hmm. as I did. Wow. I never knew that. That's, mm -hmm. that's amazing. We kind of have that in common, but church hurt for me is a little different, um, from that. And so you, Sounds like you took your pain and turned it into power and also pr provided a platform Absolutely. for others to um, share their their experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things in in uh, studying you, uh, you are very um, sensitive when it comes to healthy and vibrant relationships. I know that kind of stems from what you experience, but why is that mm -hmm. so important? Because that's a huge part of your platform. Right. That is, that is the platform. Yeah. Um, that is very important to me. I'll be 49 in a week. Oh, okay. I've never been married and I don't have any children and okay. I've had a tremendous amount of failed relationships. Mm -hmm. Right. And the church hurt that I was speaking of, I had essentially, I believe that this gentleman was my husband and he mm -hmm. was in leadership mm -hmm. and I watched him marry someone else. Mm -hmm. And so that was very traumatizing to mm -hmm. me. Um, it changed me as a person. It actually made me a better person because I really had to look at myself mm -hmm. and I began to wonder like, gosh, why can't I attain healthy relationship? Mm -hmm. Like what's wrong with me? Why mm -hmm. can't I get this thing right? Mm -hmm. And so I, being able to create a platform where we first of all have that level of communication mm -hmm. to start the journey because there's so much more to just attaining a healthy right. relationship right. but the communication piece is i think is fundamental mm -hmm. is the most important i wanted to be able to create a space and also just to have a better understanding and create a level of self-awareness when we get into these situations where sometimes we compromise ourselves mm -hmm. or maybe we respond or re react in a way that we don't necessarily understand. And then it becomes, uh, for me, it became a pattern. Yeah. Ever since I was in college, you know, I was, I was overly emotional or mm -hmm. sensitive um, to certain types of, I would say, behaviors that I experienced in terms mm -hmm. of relationship with the maybe I wouldn't say infidelity because I wasn't married, but cheating, right? you know, or not being treated the way I desire to be treated mm -hmm. or even someone being chosen over me mm -hmm. that had become a complex for me. Like, wow, why did you choose her? Not, why mm -hmm. didn't you choose me? I bet. You know, or, um, trauma bonding, which is mm -hmm. a term that's a new term, but we've been doing it since the beginning of time. Right. So just wanting to term some of this stuff so that we could become more self-aware of mm -hmm. how we're responding and mm -hmm. acting. And then we can make those adjustments in our own behaviors. Yeah. And I like the way that you deliver it because you make it every day. Everything is not so clinical. And right. I know it's a place for the clinical mm -hmm. piece of it, but mm -hmm. your platform makes it, it's just straight cut, mm -hmm. straight 
-hmm. and you are perfectly honest Absolutely. <laughs> with, with everyone. And I think that's what we all need, mm -hmm. that reality check, you know, um, and have that sheer, sheer honesty. Some of your, your shows, um, have, uh, well, first, before we get to that, I love relationships versus Situation. situationships. Yes. <laughs> Break that down. What does that mean for yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, situationships, you know, sometimes we find ourselves in those just kicking it moments. Right. You know, or us as women, sometimes we don't want to ask the hard questions mm -hmm. or we don't want to know the, the truth to the questions that we have. So mm -hmm. we just kind of go with the flow mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. get caught up in situationships. Yeah. Right. When, if we ask those hard questions then we can make better decisions mm -hmm. for ourselves and not get caught up in situations where sometimes you will, you'll find out that the person's either in another relationship mm -hmm. or got one foot in and one foot out. Mm -hmm. There have been situations where maybe someone was married, but maybe separated, Right. you know, so just, I wanted to articulate what that looked like mm -hmm. because a lot of times, Again, we get ourselves into these situations and mm -hmm. not realize what it is that we're actually right. experiencing. I'm almost 100% certain that there are red flags that yes. indicate yes. you are in a situation, but mm -hmm. you just don't know what mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. So if we can define it mm -hmm. and make it a thing, mm -hmm. then we can be more conscious about right. what we're getting ourselves caught up into right. and not not get our heart broken. You know, mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and then. Just having higher self, better self-esteem, yeah. loving ourselves more, not settling just to say we, we got somebody. Right. So right. I wanted to put men up there who had a lot of situationships. Because mm -hmm. when you hear them tell the hardcore truth, when you hear somebody say the That's nasty right. truth, mm -hmm. you're like, I don't want to be a part of that. Right. When right. you hear them tell you exactly what it is and mm -hmm. what is not, mm -hmm. you're like, you know what? I don't want to be a part of it. Yeah. So I try to create the good mm -hmm. and the bad right. so that people can see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. So you really know, cause when you're in a, a personal setting and though you'll never really get the truth, right? They're really right. never going to tell you right. like, I'm just using you. Right. Or I really don't want to be with you. <laughs> right. Just, you just fulfilling a need. Right. So I got men to get up there and just say, this yes, is you what do. it really is. Mm -hmm. This is what it is. And so, you know, the next time you're in that situation, you can refer back to that show and say, this is what mm -hmm. they were saying. Like, mm -hmm. this is exactly what I'm in and I need to get out. Yeah. Quick. And I love that about your show that that you um, have that reference of the men on there telling us, yes, beware of this, beware of that. But then I also love how you pull their coats uh, collar and you say, listen, you know, right. y'all wrong. For that. Absolutely. <laughs> and y'all know y'all doing what y'all know what y'all doing it when you do it. Exactly. That's what I love about it. We're going to take a really quick break. And when we come back, I kind of want to break down a couple of the shows okay. um, that you have, the topics that you have. And then we're definitely going to touch on the book that you have out now. Absolutely. All right, guys, we will be right back with Chanel Scott. Welcome to Trisha's Treasures. This is where I share some of my favorite beloved products that I use on myself with you. Today on Trisha's Treasures, I believe we featured this product before in the past, but it, we only featured the soap, which is the Koji San. And it, I had to do a little bit more research on it, and it's, it's Kojic Acid Soap that's in it. I always share, I have very sensitive skin and high pigmentation. And so this product, I use it twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. And it works wonders. So much so that I had to go and seek out the entire line. So as you see, I've purchased the entire line. This is the travel size, but I have the real life size at home as well. We have here, we have, uh, this is for the late face. This is a cream that you put on them once you sham up, uh, excuse me, wash your face. Once you wash your face, then you use this uh, face cream. It's like a moisturizer. But before then, I forgot one step. This is the uh, toner. So after you wash, you use this toner. This toner also has a level of clean, clean as well. I wash my face maybe three times in one sitting. Um, but if I were not to, this also pulls out anything that might be left in the pores as well. This is the body cream. This is for the entire body. As I say, I have pigmentation all over. It isn't just on my face. So this lotion is travel size. They have the full size available as well. Uh, this is part of the line. And then they also send you, if you're a girl like me, and you like to exfoliate. So I'll lather up with my soap. I take this side and I will exfoliate with that and then rinse. And just to, this is soft as a cotton. 
if you just want to go back over your face again with this, just it just feels so good. This is an amazing product. Do your research on things that you see on social media, because I did run across this product on social media, but fell in love with it. And it is definitely a Trisha's treasure. Have you ever thought about having your own talk show? Well, you don't have to question yourself any further. From concept to completion, Mark Squared Studios can easily take you through a traditional three-step process for any video production. Whether it's a small business commercial, talk show, cooking show, or even a web mini-series. Contact us today and we'll help you unbox your creativity. We're back here on Style with Trish with my guest, very special guest, Chanel Scott. If you all could even hear <laughs> the conversation that's going on behind the scene, it is no wonder you have been blessed and kissed with this particular ministry. And now I see why yes. you name it ministry as part of the, the, the title, because that's what you do. Right. Absolutely. And um, so before the break, we were talking about uh, relationships versus situationships. And I kind of wanted to, uh, to tap into your show mm -hmm. and, and how your show, um, is, is set up. What is that like? Cause you know, we kind of have that similar. We're both hosts. How is that whole experience being a host of your own TV show and the magnitude of the caliber of guests that you have on? It's a lot of work. <laughs> it is a lot of work. I even just recently told my team, I mean, I'll carry it publicly, but mm -hmm. internally don't call me host. Because oh, okay. I'm so much, so much more, more yeah. than that. I'm yeah. the creator. I'm the executive producer. Mm -hmm. I pay for everything. Mm -hmm. I pay for you all to be here. Mm -hmm. So I don't want the title host to diminish okay. what it is that I've built. I create mm -hmm. my own content. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they just facilitate it and right. execute on the vision right. that God has given to me. Because obviously we cannot do it ourselves. Right. We need right. a team. Right. But um, it's a lot of work. But, and you carry the the burden, even though you have a team, mm -hmm. you carry the burden of it because guess what? Trisha's name is on that screen. Uh, that's right. You can have a, a, a hundred person team, mm -hmm. but when it's all said and done, mm -hmm. if something goes wrong, mm -hmm. it's Trish. That's right. And nobody else. That's right. It's, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I tell them. This is my name. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe in cutting corners. Okay. We will prolong something if we need to to make sure that it's right we had mm -hmm. our last show i think it was our, our last show we had the issue with the mics mm -hmm. and they was like um let's just move forward without something as small as the mic cubes that's mm -hmm. brandy because my background is marketing i have an mba oh, with okay. a concentration in marketing okay and so that's where i come from so mm -hmm. that's like forsaking everything that i've right. you know, worked for right. and i'm like we're not doing anything <laughs> until y'all get those cubes right. and i even went as far as telling my brother in the audience go to the truck and get the cubes because yeah. I'm not listening to them. <laughs> We're not doing nothing until y'all right. get those cubes because right. every piece of it is important. Yeah. You might think that someone is not paying attention, but mm -hmm. someone is paying mm -hmm. attention. Mm -hmm. So it's very important. And you have students, you have people that you don't even know who's watching you right. um, and, and getting that experience from you. So, and I, I was there at that recording. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to talk about the whole experience of your of your uh, tapings and all of that. But on this show, you have had um, different topics, wonderful guests, real guests. Um, one of the topics that I wanted to touch on you was dating with intention yes. versus casual. What did you take away? What was your takeaway from that particular show? show if you remember Dating with intention. Was that the loveless? I think that was the the loveless holiday. One. Yes. 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 Um, well, first of all, we got an op Everybody got an opportunity to see how these men really think about yes. you in those types of situations when they're not being intentional mm -hmm. because men know what they want. Mm -hmm. They know what they want. So when a man tells you he doesn't want to be in a relationship, believe him. Mm -hmm. Don't try to change his mind. Mm -hmm. Don't try to do things for him to get him to want you more because mm -hmm. he's already made up in his mind. You're not the Wh one. You're not the one and mm -hmm. what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And I don't, it could be eight months later because in one situation scenario that we talked about on that show, it was like eight months. Mm -hmm. He was 
taking this girl through the, you know, and he was like, I'm like eight months and you didn't know right. what it was that you wanted to do in this particular situation. Mm-hmm. So I just find it best. What I've learned in doing ministry in general is that it's important to spend enough time developing the foundation of friendship. Yes. With creating healthy boundaries and just learning that person and being Mm -hmm. that person's friend. That way we can overcome what we talked about during the break, Mm -hmm. the multiple dating. Yeah. Cause we, because we can't control what someone else does, but we we can control what we do. Right. So until we decide together that we want to take this to the next level, that we want to create that we want to move in the direction of a relationship mm-hmm. then let's just be friends and then that mm-hmm. way you can date who you want mm-hmm. you can sleep with who you want because i'm not going to sleep with mm-hmm. you but the, the moment we decide that we want to take it to the next level then we're going to talk about exclusivity right we're going to talk about we're not doing the multiple dating thing mm-hmm. like we have to come to an agreement on this mm-hmm. you know and I, I want this to be something that you want as well because i do believe in um, you know, sometimes as women, we can be so one track minded when it comes to a man, Mm -hmm. like what we talk about what we want and not really consider what he wants. Mm -hmm. It's important that we are both of our needs are being met. Right. Because that man is on his own journey. He has desires, needs, and things that he want as well. Mm -hmm. But just having that open, honest communication. And then that way we can make sure that we're on the same page. Yeah. And I think what I get a lot from your show is communication because that's part Mm of, I believe, on both parties, men and women's our, our issue. We don't know how to start the conversation Absolutely. with someone that we may be kind of questioning or yes. wanting to go to the next level. Mm-hmm. We have our breaks is coming too fast, girl. <laughs> so we have another break coming up. When we come back, we're going to talk about Chanel's book and what's next for ministry. We'll be right back. This is Dr. Cassandra Parks Evans, affectionately known as Dr. Sand, and this is your segment of Let's Learn Love. Hi guys, this is Dr. Sand and I'm here with another segment of, you know, this wonderful series that we've been having on physical intimacy with couples. And Miss Trish has another question for me. The use of sex toys. Yes, people. (laughs) I love this one, as you can tell, because a lot of people are so vanilla when it comes to their sex lives. You know, Mm -hmm. they don't spice it up. And this is a easy and really one of the best ways that you can spice up your sex life is with enhancements. Mm -hmm. And that's not to say that anybody's not doing their job. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes men, unfortunately, feel like, you know, they're replacing me or not. It's not that at all. It's Mm -hmm. you should look at it as an enhancement, you Mm -hmm. know, and it brings extra fun to the bedroom. You know, you want to do something different. You want to do something spontaneous. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I always say is go together, you know, look at some things that you may want to do together, you know, so everybody feels comfortable in the situation. Mm -hmm. Um, Something else that I'll say is make sure that you look at the materials, Mm -hmm. the materials that they're made of, make sure if they're latex and your latex, you know, tolerant, Mm -hmm. then that's good for you. Some people are allergic to latex. So Mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you know the materials that are in the sex toys. Mm -hmm. Something else that I would say is when you're looking at sex toys, think about the use that you want it for. Mm -hmm. You know, what are you trying to enhance? What are you trying to bring, you know, into another realm? Mm -hmm. And that will always lead and guide you to what you need to be looking at. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe you're interested in BDSM now or, mm-hmm. you know, some sort of kink. Mm-hmm. You may want to look at something on the milder side, especially if you're just new getting into it. Mm-hmm. And shameless plug, if you're <laughs> if you're not understanding what you need, then, you know, you can come and talk to me and mm-hmm. I'll find out what you and your partner are interested in and help guide you to something that you need to be doing. And this has been the segment of Let's Learn Love for this week. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. And if you have any, you know, ideas on new segments, please let us know that too. But until then, this is Dr. Sam with your segment of Let's Learn Love.
Hi, my name is Trish Stanley and I'm the host of Style with Trish. Be sure to check our show out on every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our new network, VTV Network. All you have to do is download the free app and you can view our show on Amazon Prime, Roku, Apple TV, as well as Android. Be sure to check out all things Trish at TrishStanley.com. Remember, this is the place where the everyday woman reigns. Every day a woman reigns. Every day a woman reigns. We are back continuing our conversation with Chanel Scott. Um, you have a newly released book, which you're currently on tour yeah. uh, for titled Relationship Matter. Mm-hmm. Relationships Matter. Um, give us a kind of a snippet of what we can expect from this book. So this book is a book where I chronicle mm-hmm. my many relational failures, mm-hmm. but I lace it with practical principles. Okay. One of the things that I have learned as I've gotten older is that a lot of the behavior, a lot of the reactionary things that I would experience as a younger mm-hmm. person in the context of relationship, I didn't even understand myself. Like, why do you care so much? Or mm-hmm. why do you feel the way you feel mm-hmm. now? I'm putting, I'm putting terminology to it mm-hmm. in the book. Like for instance, trauma bonding, we've been mm-hmm. trauma bonding since the beginning of the time, but right. we just didn't know that we didn't understand the terminology. And a lot of times if we don't understand it, then we'll continue on and perpetuate in the dysfunctional mm-hmm. behavior. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you're reading my book and I'm, I'm articulating the scenarios very clearly, so you can kind of see yourself Mm -hmm. in those types of scenarios and you're like, wow, this is what I'm experiencing. Mm -hmm. And so once you're able to identify that, then I'm teaching you how either not to make that mistake Mm -hmm. or how to navigate through it so you can get out of it. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to leave your significant other, your husband, because it's not just for singles, for married people too. Okay. But it just kind of help you to make some adjustments in Mm -hmm. your behavior in the context of relationships. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times we don't even know that we're doing certain things like self-sabotage. Yes. I'm very guilty when you already think that the relationship is going to hell for lack Mm -hmm. of a better word. Mm -hmm. We start saying, we'll we'll be like, well, I'm going to beat you to the punch. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and end this right now. Right. Right. Because I know it ain't going nowhere. Right. So then we have to look internally and look at ourselves. Yeah. And as a result of reading the book, you gain a better Mm self-awareness of not just of yourself, but then Mm -hmm. also certain behaviors in your partner. And then that gives you an opportunity to correct it. I recommend any couple Mm -hmm. to read it together. There is a place in the book where you can take notes. Mm -hmm. I also um, put a feelings wheel in there because sometimes Mm -hmm. we don't know how we really feel. Like sometimes we think that we're mad, but no, we're just hurt. Right. right. There's a difference. Right. right? And so it helps us to tap into what it is that we're really feeling so Mm -hmm. that we can make those adjustments and deal with it accordingly. Mm -hmm. What I I like about it, um, as I was sharing, you know, off air, I've been married for 24 years, but I'm definitely getting your book because it sounds like it has a lot of self check Mm -hmm. in it. And I think that that is one of the things in any type of relationship, even in, you know, brotherly, sisterly, any, friendship, any type of relationship is very important to be able to exercise because it's a muscle, the ability to self check. Yes. Because so often we're pointing the finger about what the other person is doing and saying, but we never reflect back what we're doing. So I love that. And I think that is an awesome book, even if it's not man to woman relationship or, you know, a romantic relationship, right. it also allow you to, to, um, sounds like it will allow you to self check and, and build relationships period. Absolutely. And then like some of those heart, like, I know I had a difficult time being able to admit when you feel like I struggle with a situation where maybe a man chose another woman. He chose mm-hmm. to, to pursue a relationship with her and not me. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes our pride won't allow us to say, I'm yeah. really struggling with the fact that right. he chose her over me. And I, I'm jealous mm-hmm. because of that. Mm-hmm. So I pull all of that out so that we can address it mm-hmm. because otherwise we're just going to, it's going to play out in the next right. relationship. Right. So it just kind of helps us deal with those emotions mm-hmm. so that it doesn't continue to happen. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm a supporter. Now, before we, because, you know, our time is flying by, mm-hmm. um, but before we go off, we should have a little bit of time. I want you to kind of spend a little time and and share because you are the creator mm-hmm. of chemist, chemistry, 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 <laughs> okay, chemistry, uh, chemistry. you yes. are the creator of that. How important is branding in any, no matter what industry you're mm-hmm. in, how important is that? It's extremely important because you want people to remember the mm-hmm. entire experience, yeah. right? It's important, but every element of it, you have to 
pay special attention from the time that your supporters walk through the door. Mm -hmm. You want them to be wild. Mm -hmm. I'm really big on marketing and mm -hmm. branding. Mm -hmm. So I want people to have, like you said, an experience that mm -hmm. when they say, you know what, I know what I'm going to get mm -hmm. when I go to that show. Mm -hmm. And that's what people have come to know Come Ministry as. It's not just a television show, but they enjoy every aspect yeah. of it. The carpet, the food, yeah. you know, um, the, the guests, the mm -hmm. entertainment, mm -hmm. all those different things yeah. make it what it is. Yeah, it is definitely an experience because we all know behind the scenes, TV is tedious. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. takes time. And, and because I had experience with TV, I, we sat near people who didn't. Mm -hmm. So we know it's going to be time consuming and they throwing back their drinks, eating their, you know, their food and <laughs> forgot about time, you right. know. And so when you when you all started, it was we was hey, we ready, you know. And so it is definitely an experience. I would suggest anyone um, to get your tickets and go to a live recording yes. of, of your show. It's awesome. I love it. Um, before we go off air, I want you to really speak into someone, whether they're struggling within mm -hmm. relationship, whether they're struggling with, like you said, um, a sense of self, mm -hmm. self-esteem or mm -hmm. self-worth because of a hurt. Mm -hmm. Um, and also talk in that place of, um, when you feel as though you have nowhere else to go, like you said, you, we normally go to the church, mm -hmm. but that was a place you couldn't mm -hmm. go. Yeah. You know, when people ask me that question, one of the things before we even get to the relationship, because mm -hmm. the only reason that you would be that heartbroken to mm -hmm. the, to the point where you don't, you know, you, you don't even know who you are is mm -hmm. because you don't know mm -hmm. who you are. You need to tap into your purpose mm -hmm. before you even think about dating. Mm -hmm. You need to know who you are in God. Yes. You need to know what your assignment is and you need to know what your purpose is because people are always going to disappoint you. Mm -hmm. That's just life. That's yeah. human nature. But when you're content with who you are and who he made you to be, mm -hmm. you're not competing with anybody. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, if you don't want me fine, I will meet someone else. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly okay because I'm cool with me. Right. But when you, when you don't know your purpose, mm -hmm. when you don't know why God created you, then that's when you try to live vicariously through other people and you attach your value, value to who they are. Right. Right. And then that's when we, we overstay our welcome mm -hmm. because we don't know how to leave because mm -hmm. we, we're not happy with ourselves. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's important to really seek God and say, Hey, what is my purpose? What mm -hmm. is it that I'm supposed to be doing with my life? Mm -hmm. Because then when someone disappoints you, you're like, okay, mm -hmm. it's cool. That wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> and bye. <laughs> right. I don't need to hold on to you. Right. Because I know my value. Right. So I don't need you for that. Right. So you get real clear on that real quick when mm -hmm. you know your purpose. Yeah. I love it. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. Much, much, much success on the show as well as um, your book. The show can be viewed how you can watch the best way to find previously aired episodes will be go, going to YouTube. Okay. Just, uh, searching Comministry Fox Soul. Okay. It's on the Fox Soul platform. Okay. So, and then you look for Comministry and you'll see all the shows, or you could just go to my website, Comministry.com. Mm -hmm. And, um, we have, a the, all the previous shows linked to okay. the website as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for hanging out with me guys. Yes. If you have any questions or concerns about your current relationship, your current situation, yes. <laughs> make sure you go and follow Chanel Scott on all social media, but definitely go to her website and check out all of her merchandise, especially her book. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Have you ever thought about having your own talk show? Well, you don't have to question yourself any further. From concept to completion, Mark Squared Studios can easily take you through a traditional three-step process for any video production. Whether it's a small business commercial, talk show, cooking show, or even a web mini-series. Contact us today and we'll help you unbox your creativity. I'd like to thank my guest today, Chanel Scott of Comministry. When I tell you, we, this woman is so full of knowledge. I love her heart. I love her warmth. And whatever it is that you, whatever questions or insight that you might think you need into your relationship, get that book, follow her and, and watch her broadcast because there are such teaching moments. I just love her whole ministry. I love what she's pushing and what she stands for. We always talk about relationships here on the show. And so this is a tool that you can use to help better your relationship in your life. I want to thank her again for coming on and, and sharing some time with us. Thank you all for tuning in. As I always say, love isn't love unless you give it away.